Graphic design for web and print media, designing for the wellness community. Visit ryankelson.com. Hello, fabulous friends and fans. Welcome to this episode of Nadia Shaw Productions. I am your host, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. One of the great privileges of doing this show is that I have an excuse to be reunited with people who've been influential in my life. Dorian Greenbaum is the author of Temperament, Astrology's Lost Key. Her website is classicalastrology.org, and like her website suggests, she knows a lot about classical astrology. In fact, she has a PhD in it. I saw her several times at several academic conferences during my graduate years, and now she is here to share a little bit about what's coming up in her latest book. I'm so glad that you are here to celebrate with me Dorian Greenbaum. Dorian, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Nadia. Thank you for being here. It's my pleasure. Oh, it's so lovely to see you again and um, to learn from you again. So you have a book coming out. You're preparing it now. It was your PhD thesis. Yes. So tell us about that. The word daimon gets translated into English as demon. Um, and that's because of the Christians who decided to um, make the daimon in Greek culture into the demon isn't it also called um, something like genius? It's yes, like a the spirit. Latin word mm -hmm. for daimon is genius. Mm. So, yes, absolutely. Um, and, and it is the spirit of inspiration. Yes, that, that is one of the things it does. The Plato's myth of Ur in the Republic. Well, the, the daimon plays a, a, a very large role in that myth because um, uh, Ur, who has, who, who has been hit on the head and has a, a, a dream or a vision of going into the afterlife and seeing the souls getting ready to reincarnate. And, and he sees every soul um, choosing a guardian daimon to guide them in the life that they are about to live. Um, and so that myth plays a, a, a very large role in the whole sort of cultural understanding of the daimon. And, and it was a very important part of my work in my thesis because it has to do with um, the way you live your life and your fate. And it, in astrology, we really can't escape the idea of, of fate of one kind or another, you know, conscious or unconscious fate. <laughs> yeah, so how does the daemon or the spirit of ge genius, right? It's just genius. Yeah. How does that spirit help us be better astrologers? When I talk about the concept of daimon in astrology, I'm actually speaking quite literally. Mm. Because in ancient astrology, the 11th and 12th houses are called the house of the good daimon mm. and the house of the evil daimon. And so we have this literal placement of daimon into the most ordinary and common practice and technique of astrology, something that we all do we all look at 11th and 12th house we all look at the houses of the chart and so there's daimon right there and, and and in modern astrology we don't have those names for the for the houses but its lineage is that it goes back to this concept of a good daimon which would be the kind of guardian daimon that i was talking about that plato describes mm -hmm. and then the the bad daimon which is you know the 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 thing maybe that that tries to steer you into a path you're not meant to go on or is, is the, the thing that prevents you from being your most authentic self. <laughs> and all this stuff is covered in your book, your upcoming book? It will be covered in the book. I am so excited yes. about your book. Yes. I can't wait to read this and understand that, that spirit, that daemon, that genius yes. a little bit better. Yes, well... And, yeah, how the how the Greeks understood it can say something to us about how we can tap into that energy as yes, well. Yes, absolutely. Doreen, thank you so much for being here and telling us all about uh, the spirits and the genius and about your upcoming book. I can't wait to read it. Thank you very much. And thank you so much for being here to celebrate Dorian Greenbaum with me. Until we connect again, take care.